that's a good way to get lost is to stop going to church. Stop doing what you were doing when you first came to Christ, you know. And um, another thing that you can do to help stay motivated on this Christian journey and keep your relationship healthy with Christ is through daily devotions and faith building messages, faith building uh, broadcasts like this one, you know, watching preaching, you know, something that is positive, inspirational and gospel that um, will keep you motivated, will keep you wanting more and more. You know, one thing I found out since I became saved in 2013 is that the more Christ that I um I studied the more I studied the more I wanted to know more and more the hunger I got hungry I was just hungry I was really hungry for what Christ could do in my life I was hungry for what he could do in my family's life I was hungry and just fell in love with Christ himself you know and, and pretty soon it didn't become all about what he could do for me but it was more like what can I do to serve your people, to help bring more people back to you. And that's what keeps me motivated in Christ is knowing that it's not always all about me. My focus is on Christ. Whenever I am feeling in a bad mood or going through a lot of changes or something, you know, with the 40s, you start hitting changes here, changes there, and, and you think, well, I'm the only one going through this. And then, and sometimes you feel like you're going through it all by yourself, but you're not. You are not going through it by yourself. Jesus is right there. I heard one person say before, I can't see him, but I can feel him all over me. <laughs> Amen. So that's what you got to do. You got to stay in the relationship in order for it to continue to grow. Don't abandon the relationship because things do not work out for you the way that you want it to right then and there. Give it time. Give yourself time to grow in Christ. Take your time learning the material and all the spiritual things that spiritual tools that he has given us, like the armor of God and all that in Ephesians 6. You know, take your time. Learn it. Learn it. You're not going to learn it all in one day. After all, I mean, you got to look. You had a long life history of out here doing wrong. So it takes time. Give your relationship time with Christ to start working in your life. And that is exactly how you stay motivated in your relationship with Christ while on this Christian journey. Speaking of that, y'all, I got my girls right here in the building. Um, ladies of devoted, and that's what we're going to listen to. And y'all come back and join me about one fifteen in like 17, 18 minutes. Y'all, I'm going to be talking about how to distress your relationship. And that's with people. Now y'all know how people, people, mm, people just make us, mm, 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 right? <laughs> okay. Here's all over me by devoted right here in the midnight love garden. We miss Coco Bowden. I can't shake it all. It's all all over me. It 
Hey you. Yes, you. Looking for something to buy this summer to brighten up your home or office? Amazon Online is the place to be with new trending products such as the new Fire Tablets starting at just $49.99. Only $49.99. With a growing business or children, you need to be able to keep up with the latest trends and buy quality merchandise at a discount price. All you got to do is head on over to UGA Gospel Storm, Wixsite.com, or you can check us out on our Facebook fan page, UGA Indie Station with Miss Coco Bowden, and click on the Amazon link. Simple as that. Shopping from home, done right with Amazon. We are here for you. UGA Gospel Storm is an Amazon affiliate. Some things I shouldn't have done. Been involved in some things I should have cared for. I said some things I didn't need to say. Let me take this time to say that you you bless me. You bless me. Here's another thing. Now it's not because. I live so good Mama, you know I don't always do The things that I should But when I've done wrong And I forgot to pray Let me testify that From day to day That you You bless me Thank God you bless me Let me see who that is michael borkin and the mighty voices with anyway you went on and blessed me anyway despite my faults despite i didn't give like i could you still bless me god thank you lord amen y'all so i have a little testimony here y'all you know i'm always looking for a testimony to share with others so that 
y'all can be encouraged and know that God is able in your situation, even with the CTE situation. God is still able to heal those minds and brains. Amen. So, um, I was coming back from an area, Sanford, North Carolina, Saturday morning, and I happened to see a place that said free lunch. So I just stopped by because I was hungry. So I went on and stopped by. And as soon as I got out, immediately, y'all, people were just giving me their testimonies left to right. And I'm going to try to share one with you every day this week up until Thursday because it was so many of them. So the first guy that I met, I don't know their names. I never got their names because we were so much into the spirits that I just didn't get their names. But his testimony was how he was healed from four different cancers and he was stage three and four and his testimony was he had prostate cancer esophagus cancer kidney cancer and mouth cancer and he was delivered the doctors had gave him only one year to live and that man 11 years later is still serving the community and one of the things that he credited to